Welcome to Australia! Country number 49! Lucky enough to live in our beautiful city. Welcome home on behalf of the captain and the entire team. Thanks for choosing to fly with us this evening. Certainly has been a pleasure bringing you all here to Melbourne. And of course, we look forward to seeing you when next you choose to fly another Jetstar service. can do the e-visa thing if you have an updated um, passport that has the, the like chip in it. First time we're having to answer yes on one of these. Um, number 9 and 10, we were in Kuala Lumpur um, on our hike through the fresh water 28 days ago. So we had to check yes. We'll see what happens. Yes. What? We're not in the other passport section. I know, it's so interesting. That's so... I feel like we're home. <laughs> Success! I look like myself. Welcome to Australia! Country number 49! 49. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've always wanted to come to Australia my whole life and here we are Welcome to Melbourne. Uh, we will head up to Sydney Tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. It was cheaper to fly to Melbourne and it was to Sydney from Bali So we figured hey, let's also check out Melbourne and uh, yeah, super excited to be here. It's super fun to like be listening to conversations and actually like understand what's going on being able to communicate it's great because we had checked yes on uh, fresh dreams we had, did have to go through customs and a, a dog sniffed our bag and that was it uh, but yeah it was it was totally fine so all right so we have two options to get into the city from the airport one took a shuttle bus for 1950 each and when I'm talking, I'm going to be talking in Australian dollars, um, which is 75 cents um, US dollars to one Australian dollar. Um, so kind of like the exchange rate of Canada. Think of it that way. Or Uber should be $42. Um, and that takes us right to our uh, hotel. So we're planning on doing that. Welcome back to the developed world. You can use Uber and it's very clear on how to use it. Well, that's because we can actually read the language. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why? I mean, seriously, they won't, like, we asked a lady when we were in line for a bus, a shuttle bus. We were like, so is Uber allowed to come here? She's like, yeah, we're not third world. <laughs> but it also not being a third world country, welcome back to where things cost quite a lot, too. So, yeah, our hotel room tonight for one night costs more than four nights in Bali. Here's our expensive Uber. Thank you. And here we are. So, um, thankfully they can take our luggage here. It's too early for check-in. And Peter goes, Lisa, wake up. You should be excited. You're in Australia. <laughs> and I'm just like, I am too tired right now to be excited. Um, checkout is at 10 o'clock. What time is it even now? Because like, obviously my clock says it's 6.30 and that's not the case. 9.52. 6.30. 
so seriously we can get your coffee and then probably come back to it now. Wait, we just jumped three hours? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the reason you feel it. Oh my goodness. No, that, that shouldn't affect it yet. We jumped three hours? That's crazy. It was a five and a half hour flight and we jumped three time zones. I guess that makes sense. That's actually about the same like from like Seattle to New York. Now I have more energy knowing that it's 10 o'clock in, in the afternoon. It means we get to go to bed so early tonight. We'll, we'll totally fall asleep too, it'll be great. So street art is huge here. They have graffiti and like really, really fun walls like everywhere. If that's not fun, that's just creepy. Every day there's hundreds of different um, vendors here, so it's really cool. I like it. Thank you. Got some Costa Rican coffee with an extra side of milk. We couldn't decide and we were like still both waking up and it took us forever to order. He was so patient with us. <laughs> I need coffee. How are you so awake? You only got like three hours of sleep two nights ago and five hours last night. Choose to be awake. Oh my goodness. Hour. It feels great to be here. I'm so stoked. Yeah. Take my money. <laughs> Peter is so funny. Like, okay, you've seen us throughout this entire journey, like not really like wanting to spend money. We get here and all of a sudden he's like, Lisa, look. There's this opal necklace for $39. You should get it. It was $29. There was a $39 option you were looking at too. Yeah, but I, was, I found $29. Oh, and so then therefore it was $10 savings. So, anyways, and then he's opal. like, oh, and look at this cute little $4 like. koala backpack, little <laughs> keychain thing you stick on your backpack. He's like, you can stick this on your backpack. It's so cute. And I was like, goodness, either you need sleep or you're just like super excited to be here. You're just like, Australia, take all my money. <laughs> Not all of it. I need some for other places to do this. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely need more milk. That's some strong coffee. It'll wake me up, that's for sure. <laughs> we are so out of it. <laughs> so Lisa and I were just talking about how excited we are to be here. And we were just talking about how nice it is to be back in a place that feels like home, developed. People are not like constantly pushing you for sales. We're walking through these markets. It's very relaxed, it's very developed. Traffic's normal, the city's normal. Anyway, what else was I talking about? You were talking about, I forget, you just said turn on the camera because I have, want to say this on camera. Oh, cold weather. Oh, yes. And then Lisa has like goosebumps and she's like, it's cold. And I'm like, yeah, I think that's another reason I'm excited about that because I'm ready for a break from all the heat. This, yeah. could, this could be a day in Colorado right now. Yeah, this is, I know it totally feels Colorado. I definitely wish I another layer just because like sometimes you need it sometimes you don't so that's like totally Colorado weather yesterday was actually their first day of autumn here it does feel really nice I just want a light jacket at the end of this trip I'll have to calculate the percentage of time we spent in autumn on this one year trip it was a pretty good percentage it was I'd amazing say. we spent like three months of autumn in uh in Europe it was great and now we're back to autumn I love this introduction to the city like just walking around like meandering so through fun. the different shops it's great. Nice, you got fruit and vegetables here. Wow, that's awesome. Going into a deli. Peter's excited to see some baked goods. This is really fun. This is amazing. Guys, hot cross buns is a real thing. How cute is that? Cake shop. I don't even have to go to the bathroom at this point, but I just came to the bathroom just to make sure they were free. And they are. And it's like, oh my goodness, like free bathrooms. I don't have to pay. <laughs> like, I wasn't sure because in Europe, you, you do have to pay, and a lot of Asian places as well so yeah back to free bathrooms cheers to that
and there's cash. So it worked this time, it didn't work last time. All right, they do charge a $3 transaction fee here. That's what we were charged, but thankfully, Charles Swab reimburses all foreign transaction fees. We didn't think that it was that beneficial because in Europe, we didn't have any international transaction fees at an ATM. Um, but like in Indonesia, it was $7. Every time you got money at the ATM, definitely consider Charles Swab um, a debit card if you are traveling abroad. That's such colorful money. So fun. Don't let it blow away. That's, that's actually worth quite a bit. They all have backpacks. Oh, they all have backpacks. Yeah. Oh, cute. You're excited to put that on your gray backpack. You're like a little kid right now. It's so fun. All right, Peter making his uh, first souvenir purchase. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Oh, it's like a... The one's bigger than the two. Oh, the one's bigger than the two? Wait, the small one's a $2 coin? Yep. That's a two dollar coin. That's a dollar coin. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Oh, scan the card first. Yeah. Secure, and then we push six. There we go. We never do this. We never do this. I hate keys. No, I can tell. Oh wow, we have our own. Are you kidding me? This is so nice. We have our own little apartment. No. Way. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Holy cow, and this was what, like $63? Something like that, US dollars? All right. Oh my goodness, I am like so excited now. So she was talking about the tram and how that's like easy to get around the city. And I said, so with that, like do we just buy our ticket on the tram or how does that work? And she goes, it's free. I, I, and I was like, that was, I was like, come again? It, it's free, and it covers like the entire um, central Melbourne district. I don't have to walk as far today. I'm like so happy. I'm gonna cry. That's so exciting. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I think I can I get a 20 minute power nap. Oh. Such a high lid. It's like drinking out of a sippy cup. So here's my adult sippy cup full of coffee. 